Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DotSports.com. It is NFL Sunday, October 13, 2019. Got a free pick coming up from the NFL in just one moment. First quick note, you can still take advantage of the discounted football package going on over at DotSports.com. 33% off the regular price, rest of the college football and NFL season. And that's combined. You don't have to purchase one over the other. It's college and NFL combined. 33% off the rest of the season. All you got to do is head over to DocSports.com. Go to my personal homepage, click on that season package, and it'll ask you to enter a code. The code is FBSEASON33. FBSEASON33. It's all one word, 33% off the rest of the football season. FBSEASON33. If you are with me yesterday, we ended up picking up about four and a half units again, thanks to that top play winner, a seven unit win. Uh, we went two and two overall with our premium plays, but again, the way we rate them, we end up four and a half units to the good. Uh, so another winning Saturday for us, and if you toss in our free pick here yesterday with those Texas Longhorns plus the points over the Sooners, then a nice three and two Saturday altogether will take 60% any day of the week. Well, we've cashed units on Sundays, five of six weeks in the NFL, and we've got four plays going on Sunday's NFL card. We've got three sides and the return of our two team six point teasers. Haven't had a teaser for a couple of weeks, but we like a spot for a couple of teams to be teased by six points in this particular situation on Sunday. We've got four plays in all for Sunday's NFL. Top play is our next six unit play. These plays now, five, check that, six and zero oh on the season over at DocSports.com. We've gone six and zero oh with our six unit plays in football so far. We look to make it seven and zero oh with the side we've got going and rated six units on Sunday. So four plays in all. Let's sweep Sunday. Let's continue to be hot in the NFL. We went 2-0-1 last Sunday. And by the way, we're now 68 and 44. That's over 60% winners in the NFL with our current run. So they're all available right now, by the way. Uh, so don't miss out. You can go grab them right now as we speak for Sunday's NFL. Also going to be available will be my NASCAR. Uh, that will be up and available at 11 p.m. Pacific. If you're watching this a little bit early, right now it's about 8 p.m. Pacific as I cut this video Saturday night a little bit early so we get to that NFL play for Sunday but the seven unit NASCAR matchup will be posted at 11 p.m. Pacific Saturday night you can grab it anytime after that right up until about five minutes before race time that's when the play comes down so be sure to go grab the seven unit play and here's why 11 and 1 our last 12 NASCAR races 18 and 4 our last 22 NASCAR races going all the way back to the first of May and we're up over 67 $700 for those wagering, just $100 per unit. Don't miss out. I'll be in game two of the ALCS on Sunday. We passed yesterday's battle between the Nats and the Cardinals, but we did have a play on the New York Yankees, a nice 7 nothing shutout uh, by New York, and we will be in action again on Sunday. That play available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Let's get it done. Let's have a huge Sunday, especially in the NFL. Seven-unit NASCAR, six-unit at NFL and again my baseball game two of the ALCS will be available at 11:30 a.m. Eastern 8:30 a.m. Pacific time on Sunday morning all right let's get to the free pick for Sunday we're going to turn to uh, well actually as we get to it because it is one of the pros versus Joes that I'm going to tell you about the game that we're on uh, but wanted to give you a real quick heads up as we are every Sunday uh, we are on ESPN national usually between 12:30 p.m. Eastern and 12:45 p.m. Eastern and what we do is update where the betting report is and we're not just talking about local Las Vegas shops which are good but we're talking about nationwide offshore global market that's what it's become now that betting sports betting has become legalized in so many states so anyway uh, check us out on an ESPN station near you on Sunday between 12 30 p.m. Eastern and 12 45 p.m. Eastern if you're interested interested in finding out where all the Joes and pros bets are who's the highest bet who's the highest ticket count who the sharps are all the most all all that good stuff. We always throw in a trend or two uh, with the games that we talk about. So again, that'll be Sunday, each and every Sunday throughout the football season. Been doing that for about four or five years now. All right, let's tell you before we get to all our free pick uh, where the numbers are as we speak on a couple of the outstanding or extreme uh, betting information spots. And we've got, first of all, the biggest ticket this week so far, biggest ticket betting wise. Most tickets taken are on the Atlanta Falcons who are on the road against the Arizona Cardinals. The Atlanta Falcons also happen to be the biggest money 
as far as the amount of money taken on any NFL side for Sunday right now. So the Atlanta Falcons getting over 76% of the tickets and over 76% of the money right now. And of course, they're going to be in Arizona to take on the Cardinals, the Atlanta Falcons in bad need of a win. Uh, I also mentioned that we had a pros versus Joes for our free pick on Sunday's card. We're looking at the battle between the Saints and the Jaguars. Now the Jaguars are up to about a two and a half point favorite. Some of that because of the Kamara injury looks like he's listed as questionable downgraded over the last 24 hours I've heard even worse than that I've heard doubtful in some locations and some uh, press releases Minshew probable uh, for the Jaguars but right now you're looking at about 60% of the tickets or the public on New Orleans, and you're looking at about 68% of the overall money coming in on the Jaguars. And that's where we are. We are on the Jaguars in this one. Uh, listen, as far as this game is concerned, let, I, I know that uh, Sean Payton allowed Teddy Bridgewater to open up the offense, open up the passing game last week, and he had a big game, 26 for 34, four touchdowns, only one pick. Michael Thomas had a buck 80 through the air, a little bit more than that, 182 yards receiving, and they thoroughly out gained Tampa Bay on average yards per play. There was no doubt about that. But Fournette is running well. The offensive line is blocking well. That helps Minshew as a rookie uh, be able to survey his receivers, go through his progressions, and not have to put the onus of the offense on this rookie's shoulders. Makes him a better quarterback at such a young age. He did fumble three times last week. He's got to take care of that. The three fumbles certainly hurt his team, but he hasn't been throwing interceptions and not throwing any picks is obviously a plus for the young quarterback. I I would expect New Orleans to still try to establish a ground game, even if Kamara can't go in this one. But I just don't think they're going to be able to get it done. So we're going to back the Jaguars here with the information that came in over the last 24 to 36 hours. Jacksonville minus the points over New Orleans, our free pick. And again, don't forget about Sunday, six-unit play highlights, a four-play package in the NFL. We're looking to go to 7-0 with our six-unit plays in football this season. Seven-unit play in NASCAR, available after. After 11 p.m. Pacific Saturday night, right up until about five minutes before race time, we'll look to extend our runs to 12-1 and 19-4. And, and, and we're on game two between the Yankees and the Astros after winning last night with the New York Yankees. It's all available. Go grab it over at DocSports.com. Let's have a huge Sunday. And if you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'll be right back here on Monday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Well, a free pick for Monday, probably that Monday night football game. And we'll also have our opening line report for next week's college football at that time. I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com. Let's put Sunday in the win column right back here Monday morning.